So it's been a crazy 24 hours. Gemini 3 has essentially dropped and it has sent shockwaves across all industries. And so over the last 24 hours, I've tested a bunch of different ideas. And ultimately, there's some incredible news, but obviously there are, you know, there are still limitations. Now, what's really cool about this technology essentially releasing, the gap between having an idea and the execution of it has completely reduced, like it's tiny now. And so you can have ideas and essentially execute on them incredibly fast using this powerful software and this powerful tool. Um, and so essentially what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to take like one of the things that I work on, um, you know, pretty much every single day, which is creating sales funnels for my clients. We're going to load up Gemini with information around a dummy offer that I've created. Um, using our Brave Brand Blueprint. So um, inside our school community, we help our clients basically build these Brave Brand Blueprints for their own uh, businesses. So essentially you have a PDF which talks about your uh, primary audience, what their desires are, um, what your core offer is, what the off offer gives people, you know, what they can use it to do, what the hidden benefits are, et cetera. But essentially we're gonna use this PDF to guide and prompt Google AI Studio to create a high converting landing page um, and hopefully it works, all right? So I'm gonna go ahead and copy my prompt in there. Okay, so this is a prompt that I've essentially designed, but it's create a landing page for my offer. All of the details are attached. Ensure the page is full, fully responsive and all of the buttons are linking. Make sure the site is as close to finished as possible. Uh, think super hard and don't cut corners. I've, <laughs> I've found that adding that little bit into the prompt actually helps. Follow this exact structure for the page. Do not deviate from this. So this is how we actually uh, write and create high converting landing pages for our clients. So we start with getting attention, identify the problem, provide the solution, present credentials, show the benefits, give social proof, make your offer, inject scarcity, give a guarantee, call to action, give a warning, close with a reminder. Okay. Then I've just given it some guidelines on what the style should be. So I've said minimalist, but ultra modern web design with dynamic diagonal layouts, ultra clean typography, floating elements with subtle depth, depth, motion inspired imagery, geometric overlays, generous white space and crisp modern edges. So um, I've actually tested a bunch of these prompts out. And so depending on you know what client you know I'd be working with, we could have more of a high performance vibe more of a holistic or grounded vibe if it's more of a wellness brand, a bold and brutalist vibe, tech or SaaS, editorial or luxury. Okay, so, you know, essentially these are things that I would drop into this part of the prompt. But um, I'm going to go ahead and add the Brave Brand Blueprint, which is all of the information on the actual target audience, which it needs to create, you know, a sales page, obviously. So let's go ahead and press build and see what it comes up with. You know, so one of the cool things I've found with Gemini is that the Gemini actually starts to say like, look, we can actually include, you know, some of the Gemini tools into this. So this is what this little thing does, gives you suggestions on, you know, okay, can we add an AI powered chatbot to the landing page, which is insane. Now we've got the first draft of the site. So don't let injury end your story, feeling broken, invisible and hopeless, reclaim your identity, rebuild your body and rewire the comeback narrative. Then we've got the problem agitation section. Okay, so stuck on the sidelines, watching your identity fade away, you know, identity loss, all of these things pressing the pain points. It's got this really cool animation behind it. Um, enter the brave brand, return to play blueprint, personalized roadmap, rebuild the body, um, current and desired state, some contrast there, hidden benefits, some testimonials, and then some urgency that it's actually injected into it, which is pretty cool. It's got the call to action. It's got the final call to action. It's got the guarantee. Okay, so that's pretty cool. Um, so what I'm gonna now say to it, I mean, it looks actually, it actually looks much better on mobile. So like that's pretty cool for a one shot uh, prompt um, in regards to creating a sales page. So for example, if I had an idea of a new product I want to launch, you know, I drop this prompt in and you know, Bob's your uncle, you got a, uh, you know, got, you got your landing page. Okay, so you can see here that it actually gives you some suggestions, things like adding video testimonials, adding an interactive FAQ section, animate section reveals. Um, so let's go ahead and add an interactive uh, FAQ section right at the bottom of the page and see what uh, it comes up with. And we've got our FAQ section. All right, so it's automatically filled this in based on the program. 
you know, physical therapy. If I'm injured, can I start now? So, you know, this is obviously absolutely mental. One of the biggest bottlenecks to a lot of our clients' businesses and, you know, for ourselves as well, is, you know, having an idea and actually proving the idea is, you know, two separate things. So if you can get these things up, you know, incredibly fast, you could be testing, you know, 10, 20, 30 landing pages at any given time and quickly prove if your offer is um, actually valuable to people. All right, so let's start another one um, and let's use the same prompt um, for the same offer, but let's change this um, look and feel. All right, so let's go for something which is more of an organic vibe, so something more wellness uh, focused. Let's attach our uh, offer statement and our details and let's hit build. Okay, so now we've got our second option, which is the more organic uh, wellness uh, style branding. So we've got reclaim your identity, return to your sport. And you can see this, you know, we'd obviously change this for, um, you know, a testimonial image. But you can see how the design intuitively changes now based on the prompt that we've ultimately given it, but it's still following our persuasive copywriting process. It's got these nice little hover animations as well you know, our testimonials, the blueprint that is actually um, spoken about inside the Brave Brand blueprint that we uh, gave it. So you can see it's it's using the word blueprint here, which obviously is not necessarily what we want to be doing. Um, but again, that should be pretty straightforward to change. Um, we've got the cost of inaction. We've got join the blueprint now, okay, which, you know, again, this is just, um, you know, terrific. So let's you know again it's like okay a few options and suggestions here which i think is a really cool feature add video to the hero add an interactive timeline flipping hell let's do that okay, create an interactive time timeline component within the problem solution section to visually represent an at the athlete's journey from injury to recovery highlighting key milestones and the program's role at each stage dang like that's cool. I wouldn't even have thought about that. What you can then do, which I think is really cool, is just the annotation feature of like adding text. Okay, so you can just comment on the section and say, hey, add this little bit of text here. And, you know, hopefully it'll go out and do it. Um, you can sketch onto the thing, which is insane. You can add an arrow to show what you're talking about, add comments, et cetera, et cetera. So you're kind of, you know, getting to a point now where we're using AI and we're actually directing AI as, as if you would do it with an actual web designer, which I think is, you know, huge. All right, so here's the journey to redemption. Holy crap, this is cool. I mean, that's insane. Like, <laughs> that's insane. I love that. Holy moly. If you can spend less time in the weeds of actually building the thing and focus more on the marketing of the thing, that's ultimately where you know real change is going to happen for you for your life personally because as more and more and more of these sales pages these apps are actually created all right there's going to be thousands if not millions of these created by ai all the time the moat and the differentiator the thing that's going to make you stand out or successful is how you distribute this thing which basically means how you market it so when the execution of these ideas becomes incredibly easy it's like the people who can market the thing the best are the ones who are going to win at the end of the day. Now, if you want to understand how to market your brand, funnels, your pages, your offers, et cetera, et cetera, then check out the link in the description and join our school community. And that is stuff that we teach on a weekly basis. We've got a bunch of videos, um, guidance, tools, step-by-step -step processes to help you set up your digital home, but then also how to build systems, funnels, um, and use persuasive copywriting um, in your process. Because the reason this is actually working and the reason this has a good copy is because of this prompt up here and the document that we attach to it. So we have a custom GPT that'll actually take you through that whole process for your brand, understanding your target audience um, and how to actually create a brave brand blueprint, you know, so you can go out and do cool stuff like this and start bringing your ideas to reality faster than ever before. So my friend, if you want to safely navigate this new and brave world of AI transformation, but ultimately building brave brands in an age of AI and ensuring your human touch is still a core part of what you're doing, then you know we'd be very happy to help you. Um, but if you like this video, like it, subscribe it, do all of that cool stuff, and I'll see you on the next one.